Hello and welcome to another edition of the book review blog. I am your book reviewer and today we're going to review the book The Help by Katherine Stockett. Um, I'm sure all of you are familiar with this book or at least with the movie that came out um, a couple years ago. The book came out in 2009 and I had recently watched the movie and even though I'd wanted to read the book before, watching the movie made me want to read it more. So that's why I chose this one. Um, it's, um, it divides itself into three, into three different perspectives. Uh, the first one is of the perspective of Abilene, who is a maid. Um, she's African American and she works for the house, the Leafolt house. Um, mostly she deals with the um, matron of the household, Elizabeth Leifolt. Um And she handles her daughter, um, whose name is Maya Mobley. And um, she likes her job, um, but she notices that Elizabeth is not really a good mother figure for Mae Mobley. Um, she would much rather deal with um, her social circle of friends and instead of uh, taking care of her daughter. Um, and this is set in Jackson, Mississippi um, in the 1960s. And um, the another perspective is of Minnie Jackson who is another African-American maid. Um, at the beginning of the book, Minnie works under a woman named Mrs. Walters, who is kind of an old elderly lady, and she has a daughter named Hilly Holbrook, who is married with a child, um, actually a couple of children. And at the be again, like I said, at the beginning of the book, um, Minnie works for Mrs. Walters, but then towards the end, she works for another family, which I'll get to in a second. Um, and then the third perspective is of um, a Caucasian woman, young woman named um, Eugenia Phelan, but everybody calls her Skeeter. And Eugenia has just come back from college at the University of Mississippi and to stay with her family and to start looking for a job. And she majored, I believe, in English. And so she wants to get a job in, she wants to be a writer, basically. And she wants to get a job with um, this publishing company in New York, and who um, thank her very much for the uh, interest. But they're like, you're not experienced enough, but call us back when you are. So... And Eugenia is in the same circle of friends with Elizabeth and Hilly and their several others. And they all have um, African-American maids. Uh, Eugenia had, had a maid um, that she loved very much whose name was Constantine. And dur while she was in college, uh, Constantine had left. And she left um, right before Eugenia had come back. Um, so, and when she asked her mother what happened to Constantine, they would just say that she left, that she went to go live with her, um, daughter in Chicago, but they were always very mysterious about it, where, um, Eugenia thought that there was more to the story, and whenever she would ask about Constantine, um, her parents would always try to change the subject, so she always got really suspicious that something not good happen to Constantine. And um, because, again, like I said, she had the circle of friends with Elizabeth and Hilly, um, she got to see how Abilene and Minnie were treated, um, especially Abilene. Um, and and Abilene and Millie, Minnie, again, are not treated very well because, like I said before, this is um, the 1960s. Um, I think I believe I believe it starts in 1962, and so it's kind of at the beginning of the civil rights movement where African Americans are not treated as well. And um, but Eugenia is realizing that things need to change, and that they um, that 
Abilene and Minnie are not treated well, as I said before, and that they should be treated better. Um, and so, um, Eugenia ends up getting a job working for the Jackson Journal as a cleaning columnist, and because she doesn't have experience with um, answering people's questions about cleaning, uh, she asks Abilene if she could help her, which she does, and through talking with Abilene about the column, she starts to ask Abilene, do you like working for Elizabeth? Do you hope that things could change, you know, where they could be treated better, have a better salary, um, maybe not work as much. And through this, they start, re they start writing a book and Eugenia keeps talking to the publish the publisher in New York saying, I have an idea for a book that's in the perspective of the help is what she calls them or the, um, the maids of the African American maids of Caucasian women. And initially the publisher was like, nobody's going to want to read that book. No maid is going to want to tell you their story because again, this is 1960s, but every, every kind of African American is afraid in definitely in the South of how they're treated. And, but Eugenia pushes and she's like, well, show me what you got, you know, give me a couple things as you go and we'll, take it from there. So, like I said, this kind of goes on, um, and on. And while, um, and one of the things that Hilly Holbrook is really bent upon, and she shares it with Eugenia and with Elizabeth, is that she is really wanting to have a separate bathroom for the maids in the house, that she is convinced that the these African Americans, not just maids, but in general, carry diseases and carry other things that would could be harmful to them as Caucasians and very racist uh, thoughts and very prejudiced thoughts. But, and she's pushing for support and she's pushing for kind of a league at, that all of them are in to pass a, a rule in Jackson that makes um, having a separate bathroom for maids and for other help required. And um, this is especially what gets Skeeter and, or Eugenia and Abilene mad. And that actually is what ends up getting Minnie fired. Um, even though Mrs. Walters, who is Minnie's employer said that it was okay at one point to use her bathroom uh, that Minnie could. Um, Hilly found out and she abruptly fired her. So now Minnie is uh, looking for another job and there's another woman in their neighborhood named Celia Foote who wants to be included in the activities of Hilly and Elizabeth and Eugenia and other women but because of something that happened in Celia and Hilly's past, uh, the girls don't like her. And but, and one of the things that Celia wants wants is she wants a maid. And so, um, Abilene talks to Eugenia, who talks to Celia, and it all happens that Minnie um, gets hired as Eugenia, as Celia's maid, and which is just real funny and really. Um, good scenes because Celia is just kind of, um, kind of a ditz kind of, she's, um, she, she doesn't understand that these women, especially Hilly, are not good people. Um, and, but yet she wants, and she wants to be in their group. She's very lonely and I feel, I really feel for her. Um, this, if you've watched the movie, um, the book is similar and, um, but there are definite longer scenes. Um, for example, the scenes where Minnie works for Celia, um, that are in the movie, they're extended in the book and there's way more interaction between Minnie and Celia, which is funny because Minnie 
if you remember, doesn't take any, like, stop from anybody, and she'll definitely tell you what she thinks, and she'll argue with her employers, and that actually has worked against her several, several times, where she's gotten fired, like, 19 times, and, um, and that causes rifts with Minnie at home, where her husband, who is abusive anyway, um, really lets her have it on times where she gets fired, so... Um, but I actually liked the book very much. I was glad that I read it and I was glad that I saw the movie and I liked the movie a lot. Um, it, it's not autobiographical and I thought it was, uh, because you kind of already know the end of the book that, or they end up making this book, which, um, is known as, in the book it's known as just help, but in the movie, obviously it's the help. Um, and I'm not going to give um, the what happens in the end with Abilene, Minnie, Genia, but there are things, their characters are shaped throughout the book, and good things and bad things happen to each of them. So, um, like I said, it was a wonderful book. I highly recommend it. Uh, the next book that I'm going to read is um, The Wind Through the Keyhole. It's um, from um, from Stephen King, and this is a Dark Tower novel, but it was written about a year or two ago, and when all of the Dark Tower books have, everybody thought was complete. This kind of goes in between um, The Wizard and Glass, which I've read, and the next book in supposedly the Dark Tower series, The Wolves of Kala, um, and so I'm deciding to read it now. So anyway, that's it. And I bid you all farewell and happy reading.